Well, UTRGB won't be having graduation ceremonies in Brownsville anymore. Graduates and their families will now have to travel all the way to Edinburgh for the big ceremony. The university says that the decision came down to student feedback, but our Jorge Vela spoke to some of the students who call this change of venue a big problem. Jorge? Yeah, although most students understood and supported the change, not all were happy and many worry about transportation for those who live in Brownsville and their families to the event. Over 70% of spring 2024 graduates at UTRGV's Brownsville campus voted in favor of holding an indoor ceremony at Bird Ogden Arena. Still, not all students were happy with the changes. Going like an hour and a half, two hours over there to drive is, is not realistic for a whole family that might have toddlers or might have, uh, you know, or, or big family in general, maybe like 10 people. It's ridiculous to try, try to take it over there. Yamen Alcuda says he doesn't support the idea when it comes to transportation, but understands how convenient holding the ceremonies inside an indoor facility would be. I just didn't want to deal with the humidity or the rain or the weather in general. So being in an AC controlled environment like Bradog and Arena was just, I, th I thought it was simpler for my family. Other students say the same. Especially in the mornings when they usually do their graduations in the mornings, it's just very hot. And yeah. Freshman students like Jacqueline Gonzalez and Dela Escobedo also see why it would be reasonable to do it in Edinburgh as it has the infrastructure to hold such events. However, some students worry about others who may not have vehicles. I know a lot of people probably wouldn't have, like, be able to go on their own, so there would probably need to be more transportation with the school. UTRGB Vice President for University Marketing and Communications Patrick Gonzalez says the university will be providing charter buses for anybody who needs transportation back and forth free of charge. This includes rides for the students' families, friends, and all those who want to attend the graduation. Gonzalez says complaints and police reports of people fainting due to the heat-related illnesses during the Brownsville ceremonies also factored in their decision. We had to postpone it and reschedule it because of rain, and the last two semesters were just really hot and made it really uncomfortable for not only our students wearing their black robes, but also their, their families who, who, were, who were sitting out there in the open with no shade. Gonzalez says they also considered options like holding the ceremonies at an indoor facility in Brownsville, Sao Padre Island, or Harningen, but none of them could hold their projected crowd numbers. Yeah, the upcoming graduations will be held on December 13 and 14. Now, according to the university website, holding both ceremonies at the Burt Ogden Arena will save the university approximately $300,000, which would be directed in the form of student aid or scholarships. Working for you from the Harningen Newsroom, I'm Jorge Vela.